right? Like what were the triggers that you experienced that made you think that, well, this is the life that I should be living and perhaps I should get other people to start, you know, you know, sharing the community, like you said. Um, so yeah, would you like to talk about that? My journey was realizing that I was living a life with a lot of privileges. I'm a white mm -hmm. man in America. I live in the suburbs. I have a good paying job. If I don't do something with that to help other people who are less fortunate, who don't have as many privileges as I've had, then what the heck is the point, right? And so mm -hmm. the thing that I had at my disposal, especially since the creation of our YouTube channel happened right at the beginning of the pandemic. The thing I had at my disposal was the ability to buy some video cameras and to spend my time recording messages and putting them out on the internet for people to, to consume, to try to spread the acknowledgement that there are other ways of looking at the world, right? Solar punk. One of the things with solar punk is that, Let's see, how, how is it best phrased? It's easier for us to imagine the fall of civilization than the fall of capitalism. Um, there mm. is uh, a whole lot of media out there, um, cyberpunk, post-apocalyptic, right? Doomer mentality. You, you see these movies where we have people that are surviving some natural disaster by sheer, sheer will and uh, uh, good luck and, and whatnot. And that mentality of putting that on screen and having that be the inspiration for people's lives is uh, unrealistic, unsustainable, right? Whereas what solar punks would like to see is more media, more books, uh, movies, television shows that have a positive outlook on life. Um, one of the uh, you know, there's a lot of phrases when you, you come up with when you're trying to convince people about things. And one of the ones I like to, to remember is when I was taught how to ski, the skiing instructor said, don't look at the trees. If you look at the trees, that's where you end up. You want to look between the trees, right? You want to imagine where we can be, because if we can't imagine a better future, how are we ever going to build it?